Hi friends, how's it going? We have a viewer submission today and she would like to use this photo for her Christmas card and just said, hey, can you make it look a little bit better? And I was like, yes, definitely, we sure can do that. Um, one thing I did before I started recording, we had some names on the stocking. I just clone stamped those out so that way we don't know the name of the kid that we're working on. Um, the first thing that strikes me about this photo is to me on my monitor, the color is a little bit off. So I'm going to just say control B, control B, there we go. And I'm going to remove some of the red and some of the yellow. There we go. And I did that by increasing the cyan and increasing the blue. We'll say, okay, let's check out our before and after. There's our before, there's our after. I like that. Let's continue to kind of work with the color here. So I'm gonna say level slider. I used my actions here. If you need a copy of my actions, Gretchen at GretchenOtero.com. Send me an email. Say, hey, lady, send me your actions, and I'll send those over to you. So I click that. We're going to double click this, and I'm going to select my white eyedropper tool, and I'm going to pick something in the background that should be white. Let's try this and see. That's pretty bright. I'm going to say Control Z. Let's try this with a little blue. I'm going to go with this. It's a little bit much, but I'm going to show you how to reduce that. Um, I'm going to grab a 50% brush from my tool palette. Click there on this little box so that we can brush things back in. I said click, click. There we go. Click over here. This is all way too bright. It's blown out. It's smeary. We don't like it. There we go. Um, I did get some in his face that I don't want, but that's okay. We're going to go back because I do want to reduce some of this on the side. It's a little bit much. There we go. Maybe hit the chair, hit his arms. That's all very bright. And I'm going to switch to my white brush at like 20%. And I'm just going to go back here and lighten just his face. Um, I'm going to go back to my darken. That little bit on his nose is just a little too bright. There we go. And that, well, let's hit lighten just a little bit more right here. Darken, there we go. I'm good with that. So let's hit F8 to flatten. Um, you can also click flatten over here on your actions. It's somewhere, I'm not seeing it, but it's there. And then also if you go layer, flatten image, you could do that too. I just hit F8. Um, by there, I just hit F7, which removes your layers palette. So if you're ever missing it, you can hit F7. Boom, there it's back. Great little learning tip. Um, this shadow right here bothers me just a little bit. So I'm going to grab my clone stamp. I'm going to say lighten because we want to lighten the shadow. Maybe like 17%. Make it a little bit bigger. Alt click. And just ever so slightly, just lighten that little bit of shadow. So let's check out our before and after. Love it. Absolutely perfect. So um, he does have like the tiniest bit of red eye. Okay, in a Christmas card photo, it's going to be like this big. We're never going to see it. But just so you know how to do it, um, usually your heel brush is right here. We're just going to right click on that and say red eye tool. Zoom in and you just make a little box. I clicked and dragged and clicked and dragged. And I'm going to do it again because I didn't get it all. There we go. And it's fairly automatic. Just click and drag. So there's before, there's after. Not a huge difference, but it's great. Uh, the last thing I want to do is draw the viewer's eye into the center, um, into, into the subject. So I'm going to use my actions, say full black overlay. I have a black brush, 17%. I'll make it a little bigger using my bracket keys to the right of the P and brush. That was one single click. Brush again with a second click. Made it a little smaller. Brush again with a third click. There we go. I'm going to go up to 30%. We want to see the kiddo, the stockings. That's good. Maybe these poinsettias. Very nice. She decorates so pretty. And then 100% right on the face, a little bit on the hands. And 17% just to kind of blend everything. 
I feel like I got that hand a little too bright. So I'm going to go toggle back to a white brush. 17% clicked once right there, and that's good. I'm going to go back to 30% and just lighten up the top just a little. And then let's check out our before and after. So before, we're very bright all over. After, we're a little bit darker. Um, I do want to turn on the lights. Uh, so we're going to go to 100% brush. We're going to use our bracket key to make it really small. And I am going to click on all the lights just in a haphazard sort of way. Click, click, click. Turn it on light. Very nice. Perfect. All right, guys. And that's a really quick way to enhance your Christmas card photo. Um, if you have one you want me to work on, send it over to me, Gretchen at GretchenOtero.com. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, uh, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that fun stuff. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you later.